Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Um, I get asked a lot to clarify how materiality and inherent and control risk are related. So I'm going to use uh, a little diagram here to try and explain. So imagine we have two companies. All right. On the left we have a company that is low inherent risk and low control risk. That means that there's a low overall risk of material misstatements. And as we can see here by these X's, there aren't too many material misstatements. So let's assume that's the accounting data. Okay, on the right hand side, we're going to have a company that is high inherent risk and control risk. And when there's high inherent risk and control risk, we know that there's a much greater possibility of material misstatements. So we might have a lot more in the amount of potential misstatements to find. So what is our materiality level? Our materiality level is some dollar value amount where every misstatement over that amount we're going to ask the client to make an adjustment because we think it's a material misstatement. So at the top here, if we think these are the very large ones and these are the smaller ones, if I am set my materiality at a high level with this dotted line, I'm going to catch these two misstatements and I'm going to identify those as material and then I'm going to say these three are not material. Now if I use that same level over here on the right hand side I'm still going to identify more misstatements but there are potentially a lot more misstatements in the remainder of the financials. So in a high inherent risk and control risk situation I'm going to lower my materiality level to detect greater numbers of misstatements because there's a higher risk of material misstatements within the financial statements. So that's the reason why when we have low inherent risk and control risk, we have a higher level of materiality in comparison to where inherent risk and control risk are high. So in low detection risk situations, I'm going to have lower materiality compared to high detection risk situations. So my materiality and my detection risk move in the same direction. Whereas my detection risk and my inherent and control risk move in opposite or inverse directions. So this is the reason why when there's higher levels of risk, we drop materiality down to allow us to detect more material misstatements. 